During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about why farmers use seed treatments. First of all, what is a seed treatment? When we think about that, uh, let's just use soybeans as an example. So a farmer is going to plant soybeans, he's going to place that seed down an inch or an inch and a half deep in the soil. There are a lot of diseases in the soil, there are a lot of insects in the soil that want to feed on that soybean seed. So what farmers can do is treat that seed or coat that seed with either a liquid or a dry seed treatment. Now if a farmer is using a dry seed treatment, he wants a powder that's going to stick pretty well to the seed, or if he's using a liquid seed treatment, he's going to want a liquid that can coat around that seed and then dry relatively quickly. If the seed is still wet, it's not very plantable for the farmer. It won't flow through his seeder very well, uh, so he needs that to be dry. So a farmer could use a liquid or a dry coating on the seed, and that coating may consist of any number of things. All right, let's talk about those number of things it may consist of. The most important thing is usually fungicide, and it's typically not just one fungicide, it's two or three fungicides. And I don't care if we're talking corn, soybeans, wheat, or almost any seed out there, you're going to find that in today's world, with all those diseases we've got to fight, and a lot of times planting into cold, wet soils, we have multiple fungicides on there, usually three. The next piece of the equation is generally insecticide. Now, depending on which crop a farmer may be planting, uh, there could be different insects that want to feed on that particular seed, but the family of insecticides being used in most crops across the country is the same. It's the neonicotinoid family of insecticides. So it's actually a relative of the nicotine that may be in cigarettes or chewing tobacco, uh, and, and it's actually a pretty good insecticide. Uh, so it's relatively safe for humans to use at extremely low doses, of course but it's very deadly to some insects that could harm our seed before it can get out of the ground or very early in the season. The other nice thing with these insecticides and for some of the fungicides as well, they not only protect the seed, they protect the young seedling because they are systemic. So that's a big advantage that some of these newer seed treatments have versus what we used to have 20 years ago. Okay, so in addition to fungicide and insecticide, you might also see what we would call biological products, natural products, bacteria, fungi, and, and the like. For example, inoculant in soybeans, that's live bacteria that helps the soybean plant produce its own nitrogen. There are things like quick roots, for example, that's beneficial bacteria and fungi that attach themselves to roots and basically extend the root system of the plant, helping bring in more water and nutrients. There are a number of new advances in these biological products, or as I like to refer to them, natural products. You're going to see many more of those coming down the road. Well, and, and even one that's been out here just for a couple of years now is one called Chloriva that can actually stop nematodes and feed on nematodes that could be hurting our crops. Uh, you can put that right on the seed for protection. All right, in addition to some of these other things that, you know, they have definite benefit for the crop. There are things like polymers to coat the seed, to lock in the seed treatments, and maybe help with the flowability of the seed. They may help the appearance of the seed. So there are a number of these other types of things that are getting thrown on there too, colorants even. So the seed might be red or green or who knows, it could be purple or pink or whatever color that the company happens to choose. But the point is, farmers are using seed treatments for a number of different methods, a number of different purposes out there on the farm, and they are very beneficial, and they're also pretty inexpensive in most cases, which is why you see so much use of these products in all crops. Well, seed treatments are great for protecting that seed, but they don't do anything to stop our Weed of the Week. We'll show you what can control this weed coming up later in the show.